It's unlike anything you've ever seen or think you've seen before. The Reno Hilton presents Night Magic, starring the master of New Age illusion, Tutako. It's a dazzling whirlwind of music, magic, and dance. Watch Tutako balance dancing harlequins on a beam of laser light. He'll make a Suzuki samurai levitate and disappear. Tutako is Night Magic, every night except Sunday in the spectacular showroom, only at the Reno Hilton.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Night Magic. Thank you, Nancy. At this time, I'd like to tell you what Night Magic is all about. You see, Night Magic is based upon dreams. Dreams we've all had at one time or another, especially when we were children. Now, you've already seen some of my dreams, traveling out of a magical window and making those dolls come to life out of empty boxes and dancing up a beam of laser light. And we have quite a few more dreams to share with you this evening. But I gotta tell you, at this time in the show, it's always been a tradition that I perform the first two magic tricks my father taught me. Now, my father taught me these tricks and he was a magician and he learned them from his father who was also a magician. And they go something like this. For this next effect, I'd like to have the assistance of somebody from the audience. Now the house lights for a moment. And I need somebody up here to volunteer. Somebody very, would you like to help me out? Yes, you. Step right up over here, take this elevator, young man. Right here, there we go. How do you do, what is your name? Vince, nice to meet you. I see it's some ice cream or something, Vince. Vince, how old are you? 10. 10 years old, are you married? You won't have any problem. You're a good looking guy. I'd like you to do this. I'd like you to blow up this balloon if you would, nice and big. I have one for myself. Here we go. Just a little bit more. That's perfect. Now hold on to this one, and I'll tie that one up for you. Now, what is a balloon's worst enemy? Give you a hint, it's a needle. <laughs> Hold on to this. You see, inside this magic wand, we have this very sharp knitting needle. Now, if I take this balloon and I do this, well, that isn't magic. Sorry about your drink. That was a good aim. <laughs> well, you see, that wasn't magic. Why? Well, we expected this to happen. Now, magic is when you can do the impossible. Now hold the balloon out in front of you with one hand. That's it. With the other hand, wave over the balloon and say the magic words, night, magic. You have to do it with feeling this time, all right? It's, it's gotta be night, magic. There we go, terrific. Now you have to do one more magical thing. You have to give it a zap like that. Just zap it. Perfect. Now watch, this is magic and the impossible. Hold your breath. Now watch, if you think that's strange, this is even stranger. <laughs> Thank you. Now, remove the spell. Wave your hand under the balloon and say the magic words, night, magic, backwards. Just kidding. Watch. Thank you. <laughs> now, 
for the most daring effect of all, I need you to put your left hand out like this. With your other hand, wave over and say the magic words, night, magic. Perfect. <laughs> You're very brave, isn't he? I like that. <laughs> You're very brave. Listen, after the show, we have a super prize for you. You can pick it up right over there from our night magic house magician, Mr. Robert Ames. Let's give him a round of applause. Take a bow. There you go. Terrific. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I guess you could entitle this next scene as... Revenge of the Nerd. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> well, you see, during my high school days, not everybody appreciated my magic, especially this one street bully. He's a neighborhood bully named Thuggo and his motorcycle gang. Well, there was another problem. He happened to like the same girl that I liked. Well, you know, wonderful things could happen in dreams. So why don't we travel back in time, back to a faraway drive-in, back to the fabulous 50s.
the show, I'll walk through the lobby, and somebody that's seen the show will ask, how do you saw the lady in half? Or, uh, how did you levitate the girl? Or, would you make my wife disappear? <laughs> or my husband disappear? You know, I hear that a lot. But the fact is that a magician never reveals a secret. You know that. But at this time, what I'm about to do is let you in on a magical secret. I've never done this before. Uh, how would you like that? You like to learn an illusion? Yeah? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> now, you can't tell anybody I showed you this. I'm going to show you how I make a girl magically appear out of two empty boxes. Let me get the magic box and I'll show you. Hey, Jimbo, you ready? Pop the magic box. The magic box. Now, normally, this is the front side of the illusion, the side that everybody sees. Now, what the audience never sees is the back side, what really goes on behind the hocus pocus. Now, let's do this. Let's make believe that the curtain is now the audience, and you, the audience, are the curtain. You got it? Okay, we're going to spin it around to show you how it's done. We're going to take you backstage with the magician. Here we go, Jim. Let's show them how it's done. Well, you guessed it. <laughs> the girl hides on the back of the box. Now this, one... <laughs> now, this illusion requires a very, very intelligent girl. <laughs> However, we use Leslie. Leslie, you want to step down a moment? <sighs> well, I'd like to show the audience that inside the silver box, we have this blue box nested within. Now, before the illusion begins, Leslie hides here on the back. Les, 